In this video, we have to uh, generate uh, all the possible parentheses, valid parentheses with a given length. So let's understand the problem. So here we are given some input n. n is 3 in this case. So in, uh, in this case, we have to uh, generate all the valid parentheses which can be formed using 3 open and 3 closing parentheses. So a parenthesis is considered valid if uh, there is an opening parenthesis followed by closing parenthesis or uh, the other way around is not valid. For example, if you have this, it's not valid, but this one is valid, although the count is same. We can also have nested parenthesis. For example, in this case, this is the innermost parenthesis. This is one pair and it is nested within this outer parenthesis and so on. We can have other combinations. For example, with three, all of these are the possible combinations. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have to return all those five values. So see, uh, this is a valid parenthesis. Open, 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 close, 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 then open, open, close. So, so if you look at this inner parenthesis, it's valid. And then we have another valid parenthesis pair of parentheses and then these two are enclosed within these outer parentheses and you can verify it's true for all. There is no other possible uh, arrangement of these open and closed parentheses so that they remain valid. So we have to uh, figure a way of returning this. So if there is a n is 3 then we have total 6 parentheses, 3 open and 3 close. So let's see how we will uh, attack this problem. First, let's try with this example of 3. So initially our solution space is empty. So there is no nothing in the result. Let's say this bracket is the list denoting the result. So initially it's empty. Next, uh, one thing uh, you can notice is that a closing parenthesis cannot come before opening parenthesis. Or let's say we have one opening parenthesis and then one closing parenthesis. Now the count of both open, open is one, close is one. Again, if we place a closing parenthesis, then closing parenthesis becomes more than open parenthesis till this point, if we are going from left to right. So at any point of time, we have to keep in mind that number of open parenthesis should be more than or equal to number of closing parenthesis. Otherwise it will be invalid. So this is one check and the other condition is that maximum number of uh, open and close parenthesis should be 3. In fact, it should be exactly 3 but at any given point of time it should not go more than 3. So keeping those two points in mind, one is that open should always be more than equal to close, number of close parenthesis and uh, open should be at any point of time. We have not yet reached the complete solution, but we are adding parentheses one by one. So at any point of time, it should be less than or equal to n. In our case, it's three. So we are taking the example of three. So here initially our solution is empty. We have not uh, reached at any solution. So we are allowed to add only open parentheses since here open is 0, close is 0. So we, if we add close, that violates this condition. So we will only add one open parenthesis. So this is the string that is formed so far. Or we can get rid of this square bracket. So this is the current string. Now we have open equal to 1. So open is now 1, close is 0. So we can add both. So we can add uh, one closing parenthesis, one opening parenthesis, that's fine. We can add open because open is still less than 3. Or we can also add close parenthesis since it does not violate uh, both of these conditions. So this is another possibility from this value. From here we can reach these two. Now, uh, if you look here at this part, open is 
2 close is 0 and in this case open is 1 close is 1 so I am writing them side by side so here uh, there are two open so we can add one more open so that is another possibility now open is 3 close is 0 so here there is another possibility that we can add one close because open is 2 close is 0 so we can add one close now here again uh, we cannot add any further open because open has reached 3 and 3 is the limit for n equal to 3 so we can only add one close parenthesis so let's draw it below so that is the only possibility and here again open is 3 so we cannot add any further open and close is 1 so we can add more close parenthesis now it's 3 2 so we can add one close parenthesis now there are three open three close we have reached a solution so this is one of the solutions now let's get back to here open is 2 close is 1 so we have two possibilities we can add after this point we can add even open because open is not yet 3 or we can add one close because close is less than open now from here we have three open parentheses so we cannot add any further open parentheses so only thing we can add to this substring is this close parenthesis and same thing three open two close we can only add one close and now we have three open three close parenthesis so this is the solution and let's come back to here we have two open two close so at this point of time we cannot add one closing parenthesis because that will exceed the number of open parenthesis so we can just add this open open close close open this is the only possibility and here there are three open two close so only possibility is one close parenthesis so this is another solution so this we have listed all the possibilities now let's get back to this here only thing we can do is add open parenthesis because there is one one each so uh, close can never be more than open and here we have two possibilities so let's draw them left and right so we can have open close open so we can add open and we can also add close now here three open so only one possibility that is close here also three open two close so only possibility is close so this is another solution and now here two to each so we cannot add any further close so because close will exceed the number of open so only possibility is open now we have three open two close so we cannot add open since it will cross the maximum limit of three so we can only add close close so this is another solution and we have listed down all the possibilities so we have these five possible these five possible uh, valid parentheses and you can see that the expected value was this same list of five five strings having these parentheses so this is how it works now how we will convert it to code so we start with empty string so initially this is empty there is nothing here so it's an empty string then uh, at all point of time we will check so we have this function let's say uh, list parenthesis let's call this function p so we start with empty string and then we check uh, we keep track of open and close 
सो ओपन इज जीरो क्लोज इज जीरो इनिशियली सो वी चेक इफ ओपन इज लेस देन एन सो एन इज द मैक्सिम लेंथ देन वी कॉल दिस फंक्शन अगेन बाय एडिंग दिस ओपन पैरेंथिसिस ओपन इक्वल टू वन क्लोज इक्वल टू जीरो एन इक्वल टू थ्री एंड इफ क्लोज इज लेस देन ओपन देन ओनली वी कैन एड दिस क्लोज टू वट एवर स्ट्रिंग सो लेट्स टेक ए जेनरिक स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर और और करंट स्ट्रिंग देन करंट प्लस ओपन वी विल एड इफ ओपन इज लेस देन एन एंड इंक्रीमेंट द वैल्यू ऑफ ओपन एंड दिस विल रिमेन सेम एंड इफ क्लोज इज लेस देन ओपन वी कैन कॉल इट अगेन विथ करंट प्लस दिस क्लोज and then open close plus 1 and 3 so let's see so here it will the string is empty when we call it with this we can add this open bracket because uh, open is less than 3 so it will further call again check that uh, open is less than 3 so it will again call this part again it will call this part now this uh, condition is no more true so we made three p calls each time adding one one of these open braces so we have three nested calls you can see here this function was called with adding this then again it called this this now this first condition is false so it will go here close is less than open so at this point of time close is less than open and we cannot add any open bracket so we will add this so another call is made another call is made and what is the termination condition so we have to add a termination condition here that if current string so current is the variable here which denotes the running or the current string dot length is equal to Two times n, so n was three. So if it's six, three open, three close, then we add this value to the result. Add current to result vector. So we have to re return the all such strings. So whatever is the current result, add that value there. So now get back. So here the length became six, and we added it to the result. so these are the series of calls made here you can see here in yellow so this call returns here there was no other call here so it returns here back here back here so this function had called triggered this call now uh it will come to this part so this uh, option was called the other call can we made is adding this closing parenthesis here so this is the closing parenthesis so the left side denote when we added this open parenthesis now again it it calls it first tries to add open so it can add open parenthesis so it adds now it calls again with this this again the length is 6 so it will terminate back here back here and this will be added to result back here and now it will it can it has already tried with the open uh, parenthesis so it will add this closing parenthesis and there is only one possibility one possibility and this will be added to solution since the length is 6 so it will return to calling function back back and now this call terminates and comes back here this call also terminates comes back here and it tries with so it has added this open parenthesis after it so now the other possibility is with close parenthesis and here just one call is made here again two calls so you got the idea why this should work so now let's uh, try it in our code so we will have we have to return a vector of a string
and this is result and then let's write a recursive function make sure to pass by reference and then the count of open parenthesis count of close parenthesis the maximum length n and the current string so we have to add the termination condition if current dot length equal to 2 times n then we have to add this to the result whatever is the current string so result dot push back current if this is not the case then we have to go down further so if open is less than n then we call this function recursively by adding one open parenthesis to the current string result uh, open is one more close remains same n remains same and current becomes current plus this open parenthesis Similarly, if close is less than open, then we will call with adding a close parenthesis. and this uh, these recursive calls will terminate once it has six parentheses and at any point of time while adding these opening and closing parentheses we are making sure that those are valid so once the length becomes equal to two times n or in our example six then we know that it's a valid uh, combination of parentheses and here in the main function we will call this generate parenthesis and we will pass the result uh, open should be initially 0 close is also 0 and the string is empty current is empty and finally we return the result So uh, in this case uh, the answer is correct. Let's submit if all the test cases pass or not. So all the test cases are passing. So I hope you understood this. Uh, this problem looked uh, daunting in the beginning but uh, it's just a few lines of code and uh, it gives you a good practice of um, backtracking. So you can see here uh, we are backtracking. We are trying first with opening uh, adding open parenthesis and once we reach a solution we go back and then try with close parenthesis and again continue so it uh, these kind of problems uh, you need to uh, will give you a good practice of recursion and backtracking